my class. So before we left a few weeks ago, we learned more about maps. So today we're going to learn a lot more about maps. So let, let's try to draw our bedroom map. So I'm gonna show you an example how to draw a bedroom map before we continue on. So the first thing that we need to know is about our bedroom. So you have a bed. Right? And you have a door, a bookcase, and maybe a dresser. And maybe your bookcase has some books in it. Maybe it has stuffed animals in it. Maybe you have a window over here. So then you're going to go over here and just let me know what things are. So when you write the word key, I just want to know what the basic things are. So I want to know that this is your bed. I want to know that this is your bookcase. And I want to know that this is your dresser. if you have one. So I want you to get creative. Ask your parents for help to spell words, but try to sum them out as best as you can. And if you give something else a name, so maybe you don't call your dresser a dresser and you call it something else, go ahead and write it like that. This is your map of your bedroom. I want to see how creative you can get and how colorful you can get. So go ahead and go to page two of your social studies notebook pamphlet and, um, Go ahead and draw out your bedroom map and take a picture of it and send it up to our social studies cl Google Classroom. I hope you guys have fun with this assignment and learned a lot. Have fun!